Good afternoon, Ryan here at ProSpot. Today we'll be looking at the I-4 and we'll be showing you how to navigate to a couple different welding programs. And we'll specifically be looking at the boron steel setting, which will be a great starting point for an ultra high strength steel that we're seeing on today's vehicles. Start by just turning on the machine. As soon as the screen powers up, we're going to hit the start welding key. It's going to bring you to the login. Get logged in, which brings you to the main welding screen. You'll notice along the bottom, there's a couple different options for high strength steel, mild steel, weld bonding, boron steel, pulse mode. Uh, there's an OEM section and then the custom where we can make our own set depending upon the application. Uh, but for now, we're just going to show you how to key over to the boron steel, which is the closest to ultra high strength steel. And you'll notice that when I first put it on, it's going to be at 0.7 millimeters thickness, and it's going to be a single weld. If I up the thickness and get that to a 1.5 millimeter, you'll notice that it goes to a dual weld. When it goes to a dual weld, this is gonna be the best application for an ultra high strength steel. It's gonna start with a less powerful weld, shorter weld, which is going to heat up the metal before it gets to the actual weld that's gonna give it the real pop. All right, now that we've navigated to the boron steel setting and we have it on a dual weld mode, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So you're going to line up the electrodes as normal and you're going to squeeze the trigger as you normally would just one time and let the welder do the rest. You notice that it made two spot welds at once. It was two beeps that went in there. I'll show you one more time. Now that we got the welds done, we're going to show you what a destructive test looks like. This is the most important part before we start welding on the vehicle to make sure that we have the settings correct. So I'm going to show you what a peel test looks like. So just peel this up to get yourself just a little bit of leverage with the pliers. I'm going to grab the pliers, get a good hold on it. Once we have a good hold on it, we can go ahead and just roll the pliers back and watch that weld start to peel. Now you'll see that the nugget stayed on the metal and it tore around it. That's what you want to see. All right, now that we looked at the boron steel setting and we know what that looks like, I want to remind everybody that the settings that we went over today are just a guide and fine tuning may need to take place for the specific application that you are working on. Also, when the welder is in a pulse mode or a dual weld mode like we just looked at, it does have a tendency to overheat the machine faster than on a single spot weld mode. So make sure that you are paying attention to the temperature of the machine.